Hey guys, we are so excited to announce we are producing our own original content. Head over to the trendy for the best DIYs, fashion tips, makeup hacks, and so much more. We are sure you're going to love it. And be sure to let us know what you think in the comment section. We love to hear from you. See you there. You might think that you know everything about your own body, but there are still a lot of things that will surprise you, and you will also discover that you have some superpowers. If this is your first time visiting our channel, don't forget to subscribe, and please give this video a big thumbs up. Today we're showing you five things you didn't know about the human body. Baby Bones do you know how many bones we have in our body? Many of us are not even able to name 10, and we think that we might have around 50, but the human adult has 206 bones in their body. And what surprises us the most is that babies actually have about 300 different bones and cartilage elements in their body. What happened to them? We don't understand how about 100 bones would just randomly disappear when we grow up, but these bones are still in our body. They just fuse together. For example, at birth, the cranium has three unfused plates that are soft and flexible. They need to be pliable and overlap each other to allow the baby's head to go through the birth canal. Between 6 and 18 months, these plates will fuse into one piece. Moreover, all bones start off as cartilage. They start developing during the second trimester, and some of them are not ready yet when the baby is born. At that time, they are still flexible, which allows them to be less prone to breaks. These body parts are alive, and they will grow and change, just like the rest of the body. Over time, the cartilage fuses together through a process called ossification. It is only by 25 years old that the entire bone development process will be complete. And that's just one example of how amazing the human body is. Hiccups all of us experienced hiccups many times during our lives, and most of us don't even know what's happening in our body when we are making these weird noises. At least we are happy that we are not unlucky like Charles Osborne, who started hiccuping in 1922, and it only stopped in 1990. That's a total of 68 years. But what is the cause of this weird phenomenon? It is actually a sudden, involuntary contraction of the diaphragm that occurs at the same time as a contraction of the larynx and a total closure of the glottis, blocking air intake. If you're wondering what a glottis is, it is the middle part of the larynx, where the vocal cords are located. This is like not having the control of our lungs for a moment, which is medically known as SDF, or synchronous diaphragmatic flutter. Experts still don't really understand why hiccups occur, as they can appear out of nowhere for no apparent reason. Usually, they resolve after a few minutes, without any treatment, but if it lasts longer than a month, the hiccups are termed intractable, and they can become a serious medical problem that requires treatment. There are different things you can try to control your diaphragm, like being surprised, stop breathing, or thinking about something else. But in most cases, it's just a way to pass time as the hiccups disappear by itself. Regeneration Some of you have probably heard that the human body replaces itself every seven years. According to this idea, we become a whole new person because every cell in our body has been replaced by a new cell. It makes us feel like a really slow wolverine. But is it actually true? There are between 50 and 75 trillion cells in the human body. Each of them has a different lifespan before they're replaced by another cell. This is why, even when you pass away, it may take hours or even days before every cell in your body ends its life too. But how long do they last when we're alive? Colon cells only last four days. Skin cells live about two or three weeks. Red blood cells live for about four months. And white blood cells live on average more than a year. But there are some things that will never change, like your brain cells, which typically last an entire lifetime. The liver is amazing and has the ability to grow back if part of it is removed. The tips of injured fingers and toes can also grow back under certain conditions. But will we ever be able to grow back a whole body part? Only the future will tell us what we will have the chance to do with medicine and new technologies. But for now, try to make sure that you don't lose an arm. Saliva If you don't like to share a glass of water or utensils with someone, you're probably disgusted by any saliva that is not yours. And with these juicy facts, we think that you'll also start being disgusted by your own saliva. You might feel like there is not a lot of saliva in your mouth, but your salivary glands actually produce two to six cups of saliva every day. If you produce six cups, it will come close to filling a two liter soda bottle. Just make sure that no one drinks it if you try this kind of experiment. But saliva can also do amazing things. It is used to discover secrets from the past and know more about the world we live in. For example, you could use your saliva to know who your ancestors were and where they come from. Saliva could even save lives. Most people don't want to do a blood test because it's 
complicated. It requires a visit to the clinic, and many people are afraid of needles. But with a spit screening, people could learn about factors that increase their risk of cardiac arrest and change their habits. And someone else's saliva could also be good for you. When two people kiss, testosterone is transferred into the woman's mouth, and this is what makes her fall in love more easily. Now this is one good reason to kiss your soulmate even more. Skin. We have learned that our body can replace itself. But we still have a lot of things to say about our biggest organ, the skin. It is protective, waterproof, and incredibly useful, which makes it one of the most important parts of our body. It is composed of several layers, and the new skin cells gradually push their way to the top layer. When they reach the top, they die, and they have to face our environment and our daily activities. One day, they break away from the epidermis and fall off to make room for the newest cells growing just below them. In total, it can take up to a month for the new cells to make their way to the top. And this phenomenon is more impressive than you would have thought. Skin makes up about 16% of our body weight, which is equivalent to roughly 1.6 trillion skin cells. Every hour, between 30,000 and 40,000 of these cells fall. This is how we lose almost a million skin cells every day, which makes up to 4 kilograms of skin every year. If you're wondering where it goes, you can find it all around your home, as this is what dust is mostly made of. Are there any other things that you know about the human body? Don't be shy to tell us what it is in the comment section down below. We love to hear what you think. And that's it for 5 Things You Didn't Know About the Human Body. If you want to see more stories like this, make sure you watch 15 Ways the Internet Has Changed Your Life. Thanks for watching.